All right, recruits. Here's the drill you and your familiars will be running today. We are going to pair you off in teams of six. There's three mages and their familiars. You have until nightfall to make it up and back down Dragon's Horde. The first team to make it back will get to sleep in an extra hour tomorrow. The last team wakes up two hours early for extra training. The instructor announced. No one was talking before the instructor made that announcement. Partially because we were too busy looking at one another's summons. Partially because we were too tired from the day's training. But as soon as he said Dragon's Horde, no one was even thinking about talking anymore. What's Dragon's Horde? Jake asked me. Bad. Very, very bad, I told him. Dragon's Horde is just that. An old dragon horde from before the falling away. Other things have moved in in their absence, while beasts that can slaughter a Numi in a heartbeat. There is a path up that is maintained and relatively safe, but all the shorter paths are much harder with few willing to brave the new tenants of the mountain. This is an exercise in your ability to get into and out of dangerous situations. As medics, you will need to go places that might be hotspots of enemy activity. Your ability to survive, evade or overcome is paramount, perhaps even more necessary than your ability to heal. The instructor explained. At the top of the mountain, there have been placed four silver bands on poles. Each team will go up to the mountain, retrieve a band, and return. This is like some Hunger Games stuff, Jake whispered to himself, shocking two of the nearby Nume who hadn't realized he could talk. The teams are as follows. Recruits 1 to 2 and Lorik are Team 1. Recruits 3 to 5 are Team 2. Von Park, Suma, and Recruits 6 are Team 3. Tom and Anna, Recruits 7 to 8 are Team 4. You will have 10 minutes to find your groups and discuss strategies. When you hear the bell, leave camp and begin your trek up the mountain. The instructor finished. I don't think I'll ever get used to people not having names, Jake said over our private connection. So how are we supposed to find Recruit 6 and that Von Pack guy? I flapped my wings and flew up to the perch on his shoulder. There are tags on our feet, I said. I lifted one of my legs to show him. Mine has my name, but unnamed Nume will have numbers based on order of arrival to camp. Jake nodded his head so that he understood and examined the tags. I looked around and saw several new mates already looking for their teams. Some were asking for tag numbers. I was bending down to examine the tags. I think I have a faster solution, Jake said, then cupped his hands around his mouth. This is Suma's group. If you want team free, come over here, he shouted, nearly causing me to lose my balance and fall off my perch. I let out an involuntary squawk as I regained my balance. That's one way to do it, I mumbled embarrassed, as every single new mate present turned and looked at us in shock. But I can't foul its effectiveness. Within a minute, every member of Team 3 was accounted for, perched on the saddles of their respective familiars. I take it that means you're Suma? Anume, with the number 6 on her leg and riding on the back of her Xantrox hound, asked. I am, I answer. I didn't realise I could talk, one of the Nume, whose name read Von Pack, said. He was perched on a salamander. Jake raised one of his eyebrows, as they are called, and said, It has a name. Jake. I heard Lady Suma summoned you earlier. She said Sentinel, number six pointed out. You can just call me Suma, I told her. Yes, my summon name is Sentinel, but my actual name is Jake, Jake explained. The other two exchanged looks. It is quite unusual for any familiars to not use the name given to them by their summoners. So, you don't have a name? Jake asked the number Nume. Um, yes, I'm likely... Uh, unlike Suma and Von Pack, I'm not from a wealthy noble family, so my parents didn't have the manner needed to name me, Number 6 explained. I'm not from a noble family, it was Jake who named me, I explained. They both seemed to be caught off guard by that. What? Is that even legal? Von Pack asked, shocked. The Grand Duke had no complaints with it, Jake told him. Von Pack scoffed. Of course he didn't. I wasn't surprised at his reaction. Von Pack was a noble and most nobles disapproved of the Grand Duke. Dong! Dong! Done. The bell, number six said. All recruits, leave the camp now and begin your journey. <laughs>